Are you struggling to get clients using Instagram right now? If so, this video is for you. I'm going to be breaking down my exact strategy that I've used now for the last four years on exactly how to generate more clients, more demand through conversations with new prospects on Instagram. What's your professional background? I'm running a direct response social media agency. Last year, we turned over 530,000 pounds pretty impressive. So just before we get started guys, this method is completely free. It only requires your time and if you're getting started or even if you're established in business, anything that is free is scalable. Okay. So the first thing you need before starting your outreach process using this system is you need a social media profile on Instagram. Whether it's a personal branded profile or a company branded profile, you need to have at least one of those. Now the biggest impact and the biggest increase in productivity you're going to get in terms of results on this system is if you do it from a personal branded platform okay images content videos around you the human being your name your real identity the reason why it's so effective to do it from a personal brand rather than a company brand is because people trust people people trust people far more than when they're speaking to a logo to a company page to the unknown and when you're implementing this strategy in order to do it effectively guys you're going to need to have trust and if they can see you have an active profile you're uploading content and the content is centered around you your beliefs your identity that's going to help you massively increase the level of trust that people have when getting into conversations with you and your brand. Now the next step is having a target market and a target industry. So I want you to think about who are the market leaders and who do you want to work with when targeting specific industries for you to begin the outreach process for. What I really recommend here is you actually build a short list of three to five of the best businesses that you would be absolutely over the moon to work with your dream clients right that's what we call them the dream clients they tick all the boxes they've got everything that is your criteria for a business that you would love to work with and build a shortlist so that you can actually then start using that shortlist to find other businesses like them that you can approach. So how do you approach them? It's really easy with what Instagram has installed on the platform. When looking at your target markets, you need to hit the drop down button on Instagram and it will allow you to see what is called the suggested tab. Now the suggested tab will show you active profiles from Instagram of other companies that are similar to the businesses on your dream client list. And it will show you them in a list order so that you can now begin to what we call attack your lead sheet, okay? That is a lead sheet of data that you can now begin to outreach in a systemized fashion using this system. The first thing you need is a script, okay? And the biggest mistake that I see with outreach is not personalizing the first line of that message. The second biggest mistake I see is that people go straight to the offer. I can help you do X, Y, Z. Do you wanna do it? That is not what we promote here. The first thing you wanna do is you want to get out of their request folder because if you're not following or they're not following you, you're not following each other, you're going to get put into the Instagram request folder. Now the quickest and easiest way to get out of the request folder is by giving a compliment. So that first message, all you are going to be doing is sending them a compliment message. So, hey business name, love what you're doing with the branding on this page, really, really keen to see more done. No question, just straight compliment. And when you do a compliment, you lead with that positive energy. Often people will take you out of the request and send you a little message back to say thank you. It could be an emoji, it could be a short thank you. It could be somebody just jumping straight to the point and saying, look, I love what you do too. Shall we have a conversation? Very rarely that happens though, guys. So don't get your hopes up. Remember the first stage of this strategy is all about giving a compliment to get out of the request folder. Now that you're out of the request folder and they've given you a reply of some sort, you want to get into qualifying questions. Look, remember you're here for a purpose. The end goal here is to get a booked call or a sales interaction with this potential customer. So now you want to start asking relevant questions about their business. Now, when you ask a question such as how long have you guys been running for? Amazing content. Do you produce that yourselves? Are you guys running any ads right now? 
These are great qualifying questions that you can use straight away to make them realize, okay, this person's talking about marketing, they must have a marketing kind of interest in my business. And through asking no more than three questions, right, and having that back and forth conversation, if they are replying to you and giving you the information, that means there's a certain level of trust. And the quickest way to get that level of trust from your profile is by having a headline which shows in your bio exactly what you do. So if you're a Facebook advertiser, Facebook advertising for, and then you could put that target demographics niche. You could have content creation agency, so you're talking about videos for, I help people scale their YouTube channels or I help people scale their TikToks. Whatever it is, the value and the offer that you're bringing to the table, that should be easily seen through your Instagram bio. Then, if they see that and they're still replying, you now know there's a level of interest in what you are doing and they are comfortable speaking to you about sensitive things such as their business, where it started, how they're getting on with their marketing. Now you can say, okay, look, these guys have a level of interest. Let's move it on to the next stage. The next stage for me is a booked call. It's a one-to-one -one call with that potential customer where you can speak to them in depth, one-to-one -one about their business and build a strategy for them based on their wants, needs, and requirements. And of course, you guys can have a script where you have that prepared. If you don't have a script, I advise you to build one yourself, which is based on asking the right questions, getting to the point of what you can do to help, and then of course, objection handling, and being able to overcome objections when it comes to getting started with working with you. I've got another video where you can check it out on the channel, which is all about increasing your sales through these techniques. Make sure you check it out, super, super powerful content. And now that you are presenting that book call, the easiest way to do that is you've been asking questions, you've been having back and forth. Hey, love getting to know more about the brand. Are you free today for 15 minutes? Got something I wanna share with you. That phrasing right there, got something I wanna share with you. I have something special that I wanna share with you. These kind of levers make people curious, right? And they're, they're interested to find out more because they've seen your profile, they've had a conversation, they know you're not some robot, and now they can take that that kind of conversation and inter interaction to the next level. So all you wanna do is invite them to a call. Are you free for 15 minutes today? Have something special I wanna share with you. And then they'll either drop their phone number or if they say yes, that's when you wanna insert your booking link. Now two great websites where you can create a booking link if you don't have them already, Calendly or youcanbook.me. We use youcanbook.me because it has some really clever integrations that you can use to kind of link up to your CRM and get more information on those booking forms. Calendly though, equally as powerful um, and something that I've seen so many people use in their businesses to the same degree and for the same effect. Now you might think, okay, I followed the system, I've had those conversations, I've got out of the suggested, I've had those qualifying questions, I've given them a book call and your job is done, right? Wrong. It is not done, it doesn't finish there. You have to follow up, guys. Persistence pays, I've said it so many times in my career. It's one of my favorite sayings, persistence pays. So you need to follow up. Just because you've sent your booking link does not mean they're going to take the 10, 15, 20 seconds to input their data and pick a time. So the question that you want to ask when following up your outreach on Instagram is what time did you pick? That simple, what time did you pick? Now don't do it straight away because they obviously just received the link, but if you're following up the following day and you can see that the book call hasn't come in, now all of a sudden, what time did you pick? Kind of just nudges them back to the idea of, look, are we jumping on this call or not? And look, some people will jump on calls, the, the majority of people won't jump on calls. You've got to understand timing is everything. And the reality is if they say no to getting on a call, it's just them saying not yet, guys. That's all they're telling you. They're saying they're not ready. They don't want to do it right now. It's always a no, but it's a not yet. Just transfer that into your mind because you're going to get a lot of no's in business. And again, add them to a follow-up list. Speak to them in a week. Speak to them in a month. If you're in business and you're looking at the long-term picture, those are very small periods of time. But what you've done is you've opened a relationship. Now, if you can do that 50 times a day, on average, you're going to generate around one to two booked calls per day. That can then translate to, of course, five to 10 book calls a week. And now you're talking about 40 potential book calls a month. 40 potential pitches to clients for your services, whatever they are, all 
completely organically generated and free to do. All you need to do is invest time. Now, when you scale this up, guys, like we have, um, we use a team in the Philippines to send messages from profiles. They're very, very great and accurate at what they do. And they can get that volume done in a very methodical and very scalable way. And if you look at, you know, £10 an hour, £12 an hour rolls, you're looking at around £1,200 for a full-time outsourced solution to do this. All you need to do if you have a product or an offer which is one to two K, sign one deal off the back of that, of having these calls and you'll be profitable. But what if you sell two, three, four, five, which is the experience we've had, super powerful, super effective. And I really want you guys to implement this. Again, when you implement this, make sure you send me a message, tag me, comment on this video and let me know the results you're getting as well as the challenges, guys. Of course, this is an overview. You can get the result, especially if you're doing this stuff already. This can add a few more layers to that with this system and the process we follow. But let me know how you're getting on in the comments send me a message send me an email whatever it is super super powerful we still do it to this day and it has opened the door to some of the best relationships with clients we've ever seen now the second thing and the final thing i want to tell you about this method is all about conversion rate we measured the conversion rate of what our ads generate in terms of leads and opportunities versus what our booked calls generate in terms of leads and opportunities the conversion rate for the organically delivered opportunities through this outreach method they were around 10 percent higher and this is not with me this is with my team measuring their performance based on where the lead was attributed to right did it come through ads or did it come through outreach the conversion rate was 10 percent higher which was huge which made me realize this is something that is vital to our business and we can't ever switch it off I hope that helps. If you want the exact blueprint, guys, of exactly how I've grown my business and all of the pitfalls to, to avoid in the first 365 days, I want to gift you my free book. The link is below. All you need to do is send me your name, your email address, and your house address, and I will send this directly to you over the next couple of days. I say, you know, I say I'll send it. My team will send it to you over the next couple of days, wherever you are in the world. It's a gift. We're celebrating two years since I published this, and it's helped hundreds if not thousands of people now get better systems in their business for growth using personal branding social media and of course sales scripts and techniques all of it's in here the same method as well is broken down in much more depth so if you want that prospecting strategy get yourself a free copy of this book the link is down below other than that if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you like the content and of course check out one of the other videos on the screen right now from the channel